What's up guys and welcome back to the GT3. It's been a while since we've been in this car. In fact, it's been a while since we've been in any other cars other than my own actually, but super cool to be back. I've been to Bahrain and then after that we filmed uh, with Lotus in Hethel. Both events have been absolutely amazing, but now we're back in the GT3. So today, something pretty cool is happening. We're heading on over to McLaren Manchester at a test drive of the new McLaren 570S. Uh, I'm really excited about this because ever since they launched that car, something about it has just clicked with me. But of course, most importantly, we're going to be driving that car too. And I'm sure if you've watched my previous clips, you'll know that I'm not a big fan of turbocharged cars, but I'm well aware that this new era of turbocharged cars is a totally different ball game. Uh, and everything that I've read about this car is nothing but praise. So I'm super excited to head on over there and check it out. Good man, so obviously last time I was here, didn't have a YouTube channel, No. and we were picking up Tim's 675. Things have changed. Haven't Things have changed, yeah. I know. And you've it's become funny. the proud owner of GT3. I have, yeah. Absolutely. And if, and if you do a really good job, I might become a proud owner of a 570S. Absolutely, yeah. That's, you know, that's the that's No the pressure, of course. Yeah. yeah. I'll let the car speak for itself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, but I mean, even before we got rolling, just sitting in it, if yeah. it feels right. Do you know what? I like that they kept the. Do you call them gull wing doors? Uh, well, what dihedral do you call them? doors. Dihedral doors. Dihedral That's, doors. Very, That's McLaren. very McLaren. That's terms, very yeah. McLaren. Okay, so I like that they kept the dihedral Almost doors. Don't to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and does this do the function? And I'm, I'm sure this isn't a recommended function, but you know when you drive off when they're open and then they close. No. <laughs> well, unless you put it in launch control, maybe. I'm he was driving along with his doors open. And as he, ex as he like floored it, they closed. In a McLaren? In a McLaren. It's very impressive. It is very cool. It's really, really cool. <laughs> yeah. Not saying we should try that. No. On, uh, on camera. Certainly, yeah. <laughs> to a brand like Lambo, for example, their entry car, they haven't kept the gullwing doors. True. You know? Yeah, look at your guy out in and Which is really cool. Yeah. yeah, it's... Um, in fact, I would say it's, it's, shame, the, really. it's the only brand that... Sort of fact, only car at this price point, which has these doors, yeah. which gives it so much drama. And we tell everybody. Yeah, <laughs> you should. It's awesome. <laughs> and am I right in thinking that this car is actually it's actually bigger than a 650s, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Which is just which is weird because everyone thinks it's the baby car. Exactly. But it is bigger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's bigger all round as well. It's slightly longer, slightly wider. Yeah. Um, and yeah, everyone goes, no, I don't believe you. Because it's just so deceptive. It doesn't it look big. It's an optical no. illusion. It does um, look so. Even compact. when you drive it, it feels very. Compact. Yeah, it does. You know, it feels really nimble, very direct. The steering's yeah. fantastic. Uh, I'm bound to say that. But, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> the suspension in this is different, isn't it? Yes. It doesn't have the. Yeah, absolutely. I 
hydraulically linked setup that Correct. the 650 has. Yeah, exactly that. So okay. they've taken that away. We've yeah. got proper anti-roll bars. Nice. But it's still a really composed ride. I mean, you can see for yourself the road yeah. surface is quite cut up. Yeah. It's very composed. Well, I drive this road quite often, and in the GT3, it's like, shakes the hairs out of my moustache. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so stiff. Geneva. Yeah. We're expecting something. We're expecting like a, like a tweaked version of this. Maybe. Yeah. Um, can't say too much. No, I'm sure. All will be revealed. Yeah. There might be an addition to the uh, to the sports right. series finally. Yeah. Okay. But um, it promises to be quite good. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a slightly different direction for McLaren. Okay. But cool. it's going to appeal to a big market. And, I'm excited uh, for that. Yeah, man. I think so too. I definitely so I'm think so. going down there on the the 29th and the oh, first and second. Fantastic. So hopefully. Oh. I'm there on, on the there. third. So you Are you there on the third? Well, I am still there on the, the third, but I'm not sure if I'll go to the show or not. Okay. But if you're there, I might make an exception. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's it. And what year do you expect the Spider version? I don't know. Not sure. I mean, it's that means probably, it's crying out for a Spider, isn't it? It's it going to be is. amazing. It's probably going to come. It may be as soon Maybe as four months. It may be as far as 18 months. Right, yeah. okay. It's probably on its way. And then hopefully they'll do like a hardcore version. It'd be great if they did a That'd be nice. like a 570 LT type of thing. Yeah, that'd or, be cool. Yeah, something like that. Would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so right. let's swap over. Yeah, cool. Manually change it will go into like semi manual mode. Okay, and then when I chill, it'll go back into, yeah. into auto. Unless you turn on your ADP and then press your manual button. So Let's do that now. <laughs> on manual. On manual, okay. So cool. we're still in normal settings. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we've definitely got some. Nice. Alright. To the pub! <laughs> <laughs> do I need to. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> It feels well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Straight away, you can tell it's got so much torque. Yeah. It just wafts along. Yeah. So, what is the sports series all about? I mean, it's a it's, it's a separate thing to. It's like we were saying before. It's quite yeah. an interesting concept because everybody goes, "Oh, it's your entry level to McLaren," but it's within its name. It's the entry level to McLaren, well, so you really still get one hell of a car. Yes. You know, it's it's a really really well put together, perfectly handling machine that's, yes. that's designed for everyday use. Um, and that sounds incredibly corporate, but it is, it's, no, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's very true, true. It works, you know, yeah. it's easy to use, anybody can get in this and drive it, but then when you want that extra bit, yes. when you want the fizz on top, this has got that. Yeah, it um, does not hang around. It's adequate. It? It? <laughs> it's adequate. adequate. It's, it's fast as hell. <laughs> It's nice, it's just right. I think it's yeah. not overpowered, it doesn't no. feel like it's going to catch you up. And it's, it's fantastic, just, actually, yeah. isn't it? That torque. I mean, really I think playful. we're in fourth then, or third? Something like that. That effortless. It's actually quite an interesting thing stepping out of the GT3 into this. Well, yeah, it's pretty because, like a race car, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying the GT3 is a slow car <laughs> by any means, but where it doesn't sort of stack up against other supercars, yeah. straight line punch. Yeah, yeah. Like it goes like hell. Don't sure. get me wrong. Like, it goes like <laughs> shit. But you've got to wind it up and get it going. And that's right. Yeah. yeah. All of that power is sort of top end. Yeah. Right. At the, right. At the power Whereas end. this is like thick with torque. You know, it just wafts along. Very very cool. What's the waiting time on these things? <laughs> <laughs> Good indication there. Yeah, I like top, that. Top, top, left and top, right. yeah, top notch. Top notch. Spot on. That one, yeah. <laughs> Well, we're still in the normal setting, so oh, no. what we can do is put the powertrain into the sport mode. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've been holding out on me, man. Yeah, <laughs> and let's see, see what you think now. Well, uh, we can do the same on the handling, so we can put that into okay. the sport mode. Yeah. So now the suspension stiffened up, nice. so things should feel a bit yeah. more direct. And then the steering weights as well. It does go like hell. <laughs> it's really cool. It makes a nice noise. You know, you took the words out of my mouth. I mean, I know it, 
everything these days is going to turbocharge and the industry generally doesn't like it. Yeah. But they are starting to yeah. sound They're getting better, aren't they? They right? are getting there, yeah. Does this have the system where you can push forward as well to downshift? Yeah, so it's got a rocker on no, the, the, um, on the That's the word I'm looking for. So rocker. you can go either way on either paddle. Either way on either paddle. Depending right, on yes. which way. So obviously if you pull the left it'll go down again, if you push it it'll go up again, and vice versa. Well, that's a nice feature. That yeah. is cool. Drive directly from Formula One. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it perfectly. Well, it, interestingly, as a brand is very forward thinking in turbocharging and, and tech, the rack on this is a hydraulic rack, yeah? yeah. Which is cool because they're like, they're bucking the trend where it's important. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So to maintain <laughs> a hydraulic steering rack on a car that is so new and so forward thinking, is awesome. I was That's really good for that. No, but it, it is though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is I was great. hoping that yeah. you'd, you'd pick that up. Because... Do a job for, if all else fails, mate, just give me a suit and a badge and I'll work for yeah, you. Happy days. <laughs> I will swap badge. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Pre-owned 650, yeah. set at a similar price bracket. Yeah. It's like how how would one go about choosing? Because you, you would argue that 650 is probably a lot more of a car. But yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a difficult thing. It really is. But most of our customers know exactly what they want. So yeah. you know, if they want the latest technology and the thing that's just been put straight onto the market, and they want to spec it exactly to their taste then they go for a 570 yeah. you know you yeah. get exactly what you want because it's a brand new car yeah. whereas you know the other guys who want slightly more power who yes. want the greater level of technology the exclusivity that comes with it you know it's got yeah, the suspension sure. systems it's got the aero yeah. systems yeah. and of course more power um, you know those guys will then go right here's a similar price I'll go for the 650 you sure So I just had my first drive in the 570S. Honestly, from the moment I sat in this car, it just felt right. The seats hug you perfectly. The thing I'm the most impressed with is how much torque it's got. It is effortless. Just fourth, fifth gear, whatever. You don't need to drop down too many cogs in order to make it go. It's really cool. Nick has been great and he's actually intrigued me more now into driving a 650S because I was really impressed with the power in this thing but you know he's telling me the 650S is a totally different league and while I have driven 650S it's been quite some time so I wouldn't mind trying one of those cars and seeing what it's all about. So far, it's been really, really cool. I would like to say a huge thank you as well to McLaren Manchester. If you're in the market for something like this, get yourself down here and check out these cars. The 570 especially at this price point, it's so much car. Details like having the dihedral doors, it really enhances the experience, it makes it look like a full-blown supercar, and that's really, really cool. So, yeah. Thanks to Nick and thanks to McLaren Manchester for this fantastic day. Anyway, back to the GT3 now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Ciao.